Hi, it's Ben, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about absolutely everything related to the new high-level ad manager feature, which just came out in October of this year. So I'm gonna be going over what it actually is, the walkthrough of it, and then comparing it to the current competitors, which is Apex and Play. So after this video, you're gonna know absolutely everything related to this feature, how to use it, where everything is, so that you don't have to go on the internet trying to find the answers. Okay, so once you're inside your account, you're gonna to come to your agency view and then come down to reselling. Once you're in reselling, you're gonna scroll down right to the bottom and you'll see ad manager reselling. Hey guys, Keaton here jumping in because as we're editing this video, they actually changed what's going on here. So the thing you saw on your screen with the default ad manager and the connect your own business manager, that's been done away with. It wasn't really working for high level. And I spoke with the dev team and the product manager for the ad manager tool. And they just said, yeah, it wasn't getting the adoption that we wanted because people were realizing they were gonna pay way too much. So they switched to what you see on your screen now. So we've got the standard plan and this is the default. You're gonna get $10 a month per location. Once you get to 10 locations, it would make sense to switch to the utility plan or the founders offer here. If you watch this video and you decide to upgrade, not necessarily what I recommend for everybody, but if you do and you want to give back to the channel, use this affiliate code when you do, that'll pop up as an option. And that just helps me make more videos like this. And with that said, we'll get back to the tutorial. Take care. Then you'll see that if you have chosen the second option that you have the ability to pay the entire year or the 97 monthly fee. I'm gonna choose the 97 for now. Okay, and then once you put in your card information, just click on pay and subscribe, and then you'll see that it has now been saved and also put across all of your sub accounts. If you don't want it to show for a specific sub account, then just go to the sub account settings and you'll be able to toggle it off. Just to show you that quickly, come down to sub accounts. Then once you come to the sub account settings, come down to reselling, scroll down, and you can toggle off offer ads manager. And then the build your resale offer just means that you are able to put a markup on top of the ad manager if you want to offer it to a specific sub account or client. And next to that, the deep ad manager directly and if you toggle the i agree button and click save this means that irrespective of whatever you are charging under the build your resell offer they will not be charged so the ads manager is just a hub where you can actually run your facebook ads from right now they're only offering four facebook ads it's the lead form ads and then the carousel ads but it is a brand new feature so they'll probably roll out with more options later as well as more platforms too instead of going to the meta ads manager and then trying to run your ads through there because if you have done it in the past you understand that it is not the most intuitive place to be running your ads from so if if you come down to marketing on the left hand panel inside your sub account you'll see here now once you have activated it or pay for it that it will populate in the top right here as ad manager so if you have your facebook already connected which you can do under the social planner here then you will not see a step where it will prompt you to actually connect your facebook page so if you don't have that it will show you if you do then you'll see this page here and then this is what your clients will see themselves so you can see it says get started at 30 dollars a month so i'm going to click on get started and then you can just select your facebook page that you want to connect as well as the ad account you wanted to connect to I'm just going to check our Eden Walker page. Okay, so now you can click on get started or you can skip this for now. This just means that you're going to go straight into creating an ad. So I'm going to say skip for now just so I can show you the overview of the area. So this is what it looked like. You can change between two different pages here and you can change your time frame, which just allows you to adjust what details you want to see between what two periods. When you click on all, you'll be able to see all the campaigns that are running and that are not running, the ones that are published, the ones that are in draft, the ones that have failed, the ones that are in review, and finally the ones that have been paused. And on the right here, you have the ability to just to search for the campaign and then here is just a refresh button and if you click on settings here you'll be able to see the integrations the different pages that have been integrated in your conversion pixels your different audience types and finally the actual subscription of the ads manager within the sub account and then right next to that settings button you have the create campaign button which i'll go through in a second then in the top left there you see campaigns which is what we are currently in next to that is statistics so in the statistics this is just where you can see all the stats and the analytics and the numbers that are based off of the campaign that you are running so you'll see here we have the conversion summary where we can see the impressions the clicks the conversion versions, the average CPC, which is the cost per click, cost per conversion, and then other details like how much the client has spent. Then down below, once you're running the ads, these figures will be populated, but we can see the performance analytics or the impressions, the clicks, and the conversions. And then finally, we'll see the specific campaign details like the status, the clicks, the revenue, the ROI, and further details there. And just to jump in here really quickly again and show you the difference between the statistics from the ad manager and the statistics from the reporting tab. So obviously this is the ad manager. And then in the reporting you have your graphs and then your conversion summary with more details at the bottom here if you're looking for that so very similar between the two and then up to you to see where you want to see your data from and the graph and the reporting will pull from the ad account connected in settings and it will show everything whether or not it is running from the high level ad manager okay so let's actually create a campaign and see how easy they have made it to run without having to go to a, another platform so we're going to click on create campaign here and you'll see you have two options you can start from scratch and you have the ads manager templates so like 
like and play and upex high level has created a campaign archive so that you can go ahead and pick as that have been run these are just templates where you can then go ahead and adjust it a little bit put your text put your budget and then press publish so once you come into the template library you'll be able to see that there is a whole bunch of templates for a whole bunch of industries so this isn't just the creative but it comes with the actual text and the call to action button with the template so pretty much it's the entire ad that you can just copy paste and then adjust it to your specific needs and then set the budget and paste and publish so let's say i want to just check out this free solar panel installation let me click view and you'll see that you have the entire ad presented for you for the feed ad the story view as well as the reels view so if you're happy with that just click on continue and it'll take you to the editor but now i'm going to start from scratch so click on create campaign start from scratch then you can name your campaign at the top you have a very simple layout to actually create your ad so we are in the ad content space where we can choose between two objectives which is the lead generation as well as the website traffic and the website traffic objective allows you to drive visitors straight to the landing page url so let's say we are looking to get more leads we're going to click on that and then if we have a lead form we can select that here but let's say we want to create a new form you can just click on this create a facebook form button you have all the different options to set your form type adjust the greeting or you can customize everything you can add the questions you can adjust the forms field mapping the privacy policy and then the message for the leads and you'll see at the top right here the preview this is the greeting if you click on next you'll be able to see questions privacy policy and then the thank you and then once you have you click on create form make sure you have mapped the fields so that there are no error messages and you'll see below that you have the special ad category if you are promoting a product that has to fall under a specific category based off the, your local laws make sure you can you select that over here then you can select the placements if you want it to be auto or manual if you toggle on manual then you'll be able to adjust all the different areas where you can promote your ad then your ad text and media is just where you add your uh, text and media here you can type whatever you want and then you'll see that it will show up over here in the preview you can see the media type is a single image or video or a carousel so the carousel is the brand new one that just came out so if you want to switch to that just click on the button next to it and over here you just upload your media and double click for it to populate into the preview and once you do that you'll see that you have the headline that pops up i'm going to type headline so you can see where it pops up there it is and then below that the description which is optional and then the description which pops up over here then once you click on next you'll be able to set your budget now so the budget for daily just means that you are spending x amount of dollars per day then you have your lifetime budget which is where you can select your budget between the two different periods so let's say from today until that date and just click on confirm and then over here is where you can adjust your budget so we're saying the lifetime value between these two dates is going to be five dollars and now we're going to set the geographic location so this both works on a u.s address and a non-us address in this case i'm just going to choose Ruhrpapplatz in berlin and you'll see you'll be able to include the country or exclude the country or the specific area all right and then we move down to the intended audience so this is where you can customize your audience based on the interest the behaviors the demographics or the past engagements you can see we can change the interest we can change the audience's gender and then as well as adjusting the age range and if you move over to lookalike audience this is where you can reach new people who share similar traits or behaviors as your current customers so you can see when you click on here you'll be able to create a lookalike audience if you don't already have one when you click on it you'll just be able to enter the data source audience name at a geographic location and adjust the audience size percentage and you can see this tip here which mentions a zero to one percent lookalike audience range includes people who closely match your defined audience source increasing the percentage that gives you a larger more general audience once you have you click on create audience and next to that we have retargeting these are the people who have already shown an interest in your business and you want to retarget them to try and convert them into a paying customer so again if you click on this you might have a custom audience already created but if you don't just click on create custom audience and then you'll see you have four options here whereas the last one the custom Customer list is coming soon the other three which is websites which allows you to create an audience based on the website visitors from your meta pixel so if you have your meta pixel installed it will take that audience and then use that as a custom audience you can take the facebook page audience which creates an audience of people who follow or have interacted with your page and then finally a lead form which allows you to create an audience of people who have opened or completed a form in one of your lead generation ads on facebook or instagram so whatever one you click once you click on it click on next then you'll see it has more information where you can toggle on to include users who have met any or all of the following criteria this is where you can select your pixel select the events if you want all website visitors or visitors by time spent and then set the audience retention which is the number of days users will remain in your audience after they engage with your content below that you can include more people you can exclude more people and you click on that you'll see it's the same thing but you can go ahead and add a more refined audience and below that we're going to give this custom audience a name and then finally a description once you're happy click on create audience and you'll see a final review or preview of the entire ad before you can eventually go ahead and publish it so just review all your settings check your audiences and your budget and once you are happy you can click on publish so if it has been published or if it's in review or fail or if it's just in drafts then it will appear over here 
where you can see the details and then come over here and edit it if you need to. All right, so moving on to the next section of the video, we're going to look at comparing it to the current main competitors, Apex and Play. So I saw Sean Clark, the CEO of High Level, say that he didn't necessarily say you must go ahead and cancel those subscriptions because it is finally in High Level and you don't need them anymore. You have to understand that the High Level Ads Manager is brand new to High Level. Apex and Play have many years on High Level with this. So over time, yes, High Level will better those features and maybe it might even get to the point where they are starting to really compete and then eventually take over. Who knows? We'll only be able to see that in the future. But for now, the current versions of all three platforms you'll see here, I created this really simple comparison. So I showed you the price for the unlimited version for all platforms. So you do get a cheaper version of Play and a cheaper version of Apex, but then you are limited to the amount of accounts that you can have. So for the high level unlimited package, it costs 97 per month additional to your current subscription for high level. Play, it has a 497 per month plan for unlimited accounts. And then Apex, it is 497 as well for unlimited. So in this case, high level has them beat for the unlimited option for the price, but that again is strictly based off of the subscription cost. The next one you'll see here is the ad spend fee. So again, if you've chosen the first option, they've got that 10% ad spend fee, whereas Play and Apex do not have any. But all three platforms allow you to mark up the ad spend budget or rebuild it to your customers too. Then when it comes to the support, Play and Apex might have high level beats just solely off of the fact that high level has so many features and so many departments, and that is not the main feature of their business. They have so many, so their support is more of an umbrella, whereas Play and Apex are more of a streamlined support for that specific feature. So naturally the support is gonna be much better with those platforms. Then every single one of the platforms are very simple. You saw the walkthrough of the high level platform it is very intuitive then it's the same across play and upex i did see on a article by go high level essentials that the play user interface is slightly better than the upex user interface but upex has been built specifically more for agencies whereas play has been built more for the general businesses then when it comes to the platforms high level as of now only has facebook as an option to run ads on over time they'll probably increase the amount of platforms where you can advertise on whereas play it incorporates with a whole bunch of different platforms such as facebook Instagram, Google, YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, Snapchat, Bing, WhatsApp, and Spotify. So very diverse and it reaches a large amount of platforms. Then Play is also a Y Combinator backed and leaning heavily into the AI ad creation. Whereas Apex is just Facebook and Google, they also have AI ad creation. And Apex was started by a local lead gen agency. So they are very attuned to what those agencies need, offering super easy features and effective templates to help launch with tons of agency data to help their users beat the competition and tools to help relaunch and manage clients at scale which is obviously very crucial so when it comes to which one is better as of now play and apex they are much more advanced than the high level version of the ads manager feature so over time the high level ads manager feature will get better and it is good now if, if you want to use it for a very simple case or you want to offer it to your clients okay and that is it that is everything you need to know about the new high level ad manager feature if you have any questions let us know down below if you want to see a really cool interview between keaton and the founder of apex check out this video over here where you'll get a lot of insights and also how to boost your revenue through offering ads manager to your clients if you have any future video requests just let us know down below and we'll try to do them as soon as possible